Good morning traders, welcome to the weekly Elliott Wave Street update. I'm Juan Maldonado and before we start the uh, Elliott Wave analysis on the Euro, I have a clear trading plan that I'm going to share with you, uh, the S&P and the dollar. Uh, let me uh, ask you to subscribe to the channel so you can get all the updates here in, in YouTube and also tonight I'm starting a free class about Elliott Wave, about a volume a profile, about price action. So we are going to have three master classes today starting at 8 p.m. live. So I'm going to leave you the link below the video so you can sign up and uh, receive this fantastic training started, starting tonight. We're going to do a lot of examples with volume profile with Elliott Wave. So don't, don't miss it. It's going to be fantastic. All right. So let's start with the euro that has been going down. The main plan on the euro is to have a move back to the previous high area. The 123.48, 123.50 is my target. And right now the, the euro is trading at the 117.74 area. So it, we have a huge distance from the actual price to the target last week i was looking for a new low in order to have this reversal area sometimes we can have a reversal area just coming down here a little and reversing some other times the price can just hit the low and then uh, start starting the reversal some other times we can have the price moving a little bit lower and this is the case here on the euro so this week i'm gonna find the way to buy the euro because one thing is to have the analysis okay that's the first step but after the first step we need to have the trading plan we need to have the strategy plan in order to buy the the the, the euro and that's what we can do um, here by zooming in a little bit. The plan for the week is pretty clear. I'm going to add here the support. I need to have the price to move a little bit lower here. And that will be it in terms of the wave count. So the price moving below and showing a reversal signal, I'm going long. That's going to be my first entry. Probably I'm going to accumulate entries during the move up. And then we will have wave one, we will have wave two, the final test before the wave three. So finding the reversal on the euro. Let's have a look at the dollar and then we check the S&P. On the dollar, something similar is going on. Last week, I was looking for a move above this previous high. Well, we have the move, but it was a little bit stronger than expected. Great, that happens, it's fine. This week, we need to have a little bit more of price to the upside. In our, same as the euro, you see, it's the opposite. It's great. A little bit more of bullish price action in order to complete wave four. And that's where the big trade is going to happen, the sell trade. And you can take this trade on the euro, or you can take it on the Aussie dollar also to buy it. Or another favorite that I'm looking uh, to trigger soon is the dollar cat. Of course, you can find all the details if you take the membership. And here, uh, let's have a look now at the S&P. The S&P has been going up um, after reversing. Look, it seems that the, that the corrective wave A, B, C, it's done at this low. We have a reversal. And now we're having a leading diagonal wave. One, two, three, four, five. If we have the wave five that we don't have yet we need to have a leg up at least hitting the previous high it's fine or it could go a little bit higher it doesn't matter we need to have a higher high then i'm going to look for a three wave sequence the corrective wave at least to the 50 percent or maybe the 61 8 percent because this is a diagonal wave look the wave four was able to move inside the, the wave one so it's a leading diagonal wave. And usually after the leading diagonal wave, we have a deep corrective. But what if the alternative happens? Alternative will be 
So far, we have only a three-wave sequence, right? So if the price fails to make the wave five and it starts moving below two, this three-wave sequence is going to be part of a bigger corrective wave. And we, in that scenario, we are going to have the wave two active again, and this will be just a connector, and the price will be likely to go back to these lows and test. So that's the difference of having a five-wave sequence or only a three. Validations are key. So I'm looking for this uh, move up in order to complete the sequence. All right, traders, this is the plan for today. Please have a fantastic trading week. Don't forget to visit us on elliotwaferstreet.com where we have the uh, membership where you can trial trial the membership out with just 19, for just $19 the first month. You can pick Forex stocks or the full access. And don't forget to sign up for the free webinar. I'm going to leave you the link below the video. Trust me, it's going to be a fantastic training about Elliott Wave, about volume profile, that is going to provide you extra tools to find trades on these complex markets. Please have a fantastic trading day, trading week. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.